Bravo Verse. Greetings, I am tired. Hey, greetings, I am hot. I'm warm today. Hi, hot. Not that type of hot. Not that type of hot. No, but today genuinely is really, really hot. Oh, it's yeah. around about uh, 32 to 34 degrees today. Yeah, it's getting up towards the, the high, oh, the mid 90s. I'd say mid to low 90s. In it's not American, quite 100. American units, yes. In freedom units. Yeah. Um, it's not quite hitting 100, but it's getting really close. Yeah, so we're probably going to try and speed today's video on just a little bit because it's a bit, you know, it's a bit crazy. Warm. But, but today we're talking about spears. Ooh, uh, yeah. Specifically, how spears cut. How well yeah. can they cut? Now, obviously, we don't have all the spears in the world. There are lots of different types, different heads, but with the ones that we have, specifically this one here, uh, we wanted to see how well this thing <laughs> can actually cut things. Yeah, now this is a, a hewing spear. Basically the idea is that you are hew with it, you slice. So we're gonna try some water bottles. We're gonna try some pool noodles. Um, and we may even have something a little special to try that's a bit more analogous to um, something an adventurer might slice. Now, I feel like we shouldn't have to say it, but we'll say it anyway. Yes, we know spears are for pointing things. <laughs> we just want well, they're not just for stabbing. We want to test the cutting yeah. ca uh, capacity. Yeah. Now, now, this is a little wobbly, um, but we do have something that's quite a bit more solid. In fact, probably more so than it really needs to be, which uh, is... Uh, recently, we were sent this one from United Cutlery. There will be a link in the description if you wanted to check it out. Now, Initial thoughts, <laughs> I'm not, uh, I don't, I'm not feeling it, as, as I describe it. It feels like a zombie tool. It's probably a good initial thought. Zombie tools are known for being big, hefty bars of iron, really tough, this but heavy compared to what a, what a, a traditional weapon would be. And there's, there's nothing really traditional about this. This is made no. out of like a high density polyethylene or something like that. It's, it's analogous. Is it though? Like, it's, this is, look how thick this, oh. Off camera, he said it feels like a knife has just been attached. Yes. Like, historically, that's what happened, but it's... No, the, I, I reckon if we much, actually check look, their line... Look, look, it's a cross guard without coolants. I don't know what that's for. It's not even a boar spear. Boar spears have big bits to stop the boar. Right. But it's hefty. But we're going to uh, use this as well. The, re the main reason why is simply because this is sharp and we don't really have any other spears at the mm. moment that are as sharp as this one, and we wanted to compare it to something else. Uh, so why don't we get into some of the cutting uh, and see how they do, because I'm curious. What do you want to start with? Start with the water bottles. Okay, water nice bottles. Old, old nice time classic. Easy. Speaking of water bottles, whew. Stay hydrated. So let's start with the baseline of a hewing spear before we move on to the United Cutlery Tactical Zombie Weapon. Now, a hewing spear is a really interesting weapon because it's not just stabby stab, line of guys, you know, many rows deep. There are two edges so that you can do big slicing cuts, even to the point of coming straight down overhead, which seems counterintuitive. But in Europe, you know, it was cooler. It wasn't as, it wasn't as hot as it is today. And I feel like we don't have the energy to, excuse me. This edge here should be mentioned. Like, this is sharp enough to cut. It's not razor sharp. No. But I feel like this will be a good uh, cutter. It will. It's a good starting point. Whereas yeah. this, don't get me wrong, really great at stabbing. We gave a little bit of a stabby stab before, but it's a very thick blade profile. How sharp is this one? Because Average. Very, oh, that is very average. It's very yeah. average. So it's sharper than a butter knife, but I feel like a steak knife is actually sharper All than right. this. Let's do a couple of water bottles, <sighs> yep. see how it feels. Yep. And then we'll move up to some uh, pool noodles and yep. then we'll finish out on some other stuff. Yeah, we got something special. That sucked. It that. was okay. There were, it mm. wasn't too bad. Mm. All right, we've got a, like mm. for example, this is one of my cuts here. Now this is an interesting cut, I would say. Like, you know, the trajectory. <laughs> yeah, where you can see like the scooping yeah. that is actually done. So overall, it was. Look like, on the water bottles, it's fine. With with this specifically, this yes. one was all right. That one was not too chunky. It's not good. It doesn't feel good in the hand, as well. I don't know what was going on though. We could like to to pop a bottle. No, oh, yeah. It was very difficult. Yeah. Which is weird because that's it's not razor sharp, but that sharp of, enough. And there's a lot of weight. All right, but I think that's enough for the water bottles. You get the idea. This one here. 
is actually pretty good. It's not too bad. It's not yeah. too bad. I, Finding I, your range is a little bit difficult though. Yeah. Like I did I did notice that you were like choking it right up. I tried to go a little more further, a little more traditional, but um well, all right, think of it like look, this. Look. Now obviously we've mentioned that there are different hewing speeds that they can be a lot bigger, a lot longer. This one here is what, like 10 inches? And we're trying to hit like three inches on a bottle. That's fine. So getting a little bit closer, choking up, you know. Get good bro. I mean, let's move on to pool You're noodles. the only yep. person Shut up. who never gets to say Shut up. that to me. Let's do some pool noodles. I like that less. I don't like it at all. Mm. Now, there's a little bit of a caveat here. These, it's, it's just so hot today that the pool noodles are yeah, like... kind of soft and squishy. Yeah, beyond a ridiculous amount. So they are having trouble. I reckon even if we got to sort out, it'd be a little bit... Mm. Yeah, they're just, they're too soft. The heat has gotten to them. Yeah, uh, so I want to do some throwing. I know yeah. we originally didn't plan to do some throwing. I was thinking that myself because I sort of went, I could have stabbed that bottle. I could have stabbed that pool noodle. Exactly. And, and that's what um, they're for. Yeah. We will get to some cutting. We will finish off on some, you know, maybe... A bit Something of a, a little analogous to what an adventurer might be hitting. Yes. But before we do that, let's just do some throws because I'm actually curious how this one performs because I... Uh, it feels like you're meant to throw it. Doesn't feel like you're meant to fight. So, so spears... Heavy. Hewing spears or not, you're meant to be very nimble with the tip, yeah. but that, like, try to do that. This is very heavy, this one. This one is. Ugh. Yeah, Ugh. chunk, chunk, chunk. Uh, it's, yeah. not a, it's not a fighting, like, it's a damaging spear, but it's, you're fighting zombies. You're not fighting, you know, an opponent who's fighting back with another agile weapon. Let's throw it at Boromir and see how they go. We I just fixed Boromir. Well, too bad. Too bad. I just job. fixed him. It's his job. All right, we're gonna start with the zombie spear United Cutlery version because this one's a lot heavier than like the larger spear, and I'm very curious how this one throws. I've actually thrown the other one, so we'll see. Yeah, I made him a marsupial. Oh yeah, gave him a pouch. I'm not gonna throw it like a javelin. It's not a javelin, it's a spear. So you'd be fighting with it like a spear and then you would attempt to throw it like a spear. It's probably gonna fail. Let's see how we go. Yep. By ha. the luck of the draw. I feel like the two shots, the one I got in Boromir and the one I got off to the side, the only reason they worked is because it just had such a nice glide angle yeah. in the air. So it's very precise to get it like that. Now, we're not gonna bother throwing this one because we've already done it really. So I'm gonna play those clips for you right now because we threw them into armor. Ooh. <laughs> this one fl flies, is beautiful, and it's very fun to throw. So why don't we move up to the finale? We get to like break stuff yes. with the hewing spear. Ha! Oh, we get to hew. Yes, uh, we're going to be trying a little bit of a human analog. Got to be careful how we phrase these things for YouTube. <clears throat> yeah. Adventurer's enemy analog. Yes. Mm. So we will do cutty cutty on analog. This I don't want to say any more because I don't want to get demonetized. You got a wobbly head. Yeah, let's do it. As promised, we have a bit of an analog here yes. to simulate uh, an adventurer's enemy. That's the best opponent. way of putting this. Oh. Yes, opponent. Opponent. Oh. Yeah, it's a it's a pork troll. I really hope that this is all good and that like when the guy when they get to see this, this isn't just like blur. <laughs> I really hope it has articulation. <laughs> Articulation. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all right, I'm gonna start off with this uh, United Cutlery zombie type spear. Yep. And then we'll go to something a little bit more historical. Mm. Just because I feel like this is a bit more robust. Mm -hmm. This is so thick. I feel like you're not really gonna leave much for me if you're gonna do that. We've still got a, f a foot here, <laughs> so you, you got that. Right. But that was straight through, you know, the equivalent of. <sighs> A human thigh bone? It's funny because I'm, I'm about to say, let's get some B-roll, but then I know I can't get B-roll. There's blood spatter here. I can't get B-roll of that. I can't get B-roll. <laughs> you broke another weapon. Of course I did. It's what I do. How many weapons are you going to break? Seven. 
Well, can spears cut? Yes, of course they can cut. But yes. there's a whole bunch of caveats to this. Different spearheads, how sharp they are, exactly. how good you are with your range. There's how the, it also depends on how they're assembled. So something like this that has a tang, that has a break point on just a little thin weld. It, you, can, it can depend, you know, you, you get... also missed. But if you get a lot of leverage at the tip, you know, I Anyways, hit uh, I hit it. I chopped it in half. Well, this is our favorite spear. Now it's broken too. Oh, well, we can fix that. Uh, we're gonna get more of these things. <laughs> uh, this spear here, this uh, zombie United Cutlery one. If you're interested, there'll be a link down in the description. It did take a lot of abuse. For example, if you look at this rolled tip when you went straight into the concrete, it's because it went straight into the concrete. Yeah. Uh, Whose idea was it to put concrete under Boromir again? Well, I forgot that everybody else can't aim here, so. <laughs> Stay tuned on Shadowversity because he's going to miss a shot and it's going to go in. <laughs> anyway. uh, in terms of the spear cutting though, especially through the flesh, I mean, it was, I wouldn't want to yeah. get hit with that. Yeah, and we do have to realize what we were just doing then is using it like an axe. So we are trying to hack through. Yeah. Whereas in reality, you are going to be a bit more tippy on the blade and be slicing, be chewing. It's, it's not going to be braced as well. You know? No. Yeah. So, but all in all, like, can a spear cut? Well, yes, they're obviously. Even, they're even fun to cut with. They it's are. one of those things where it is pretty fun. This one here performed a lot better. Except until, for the pool noodles. Until you broke it. Except uh, for the pool noodles. That wasn't fun. Yes, but we've done, we've cut with a spear on pool noodles before. We have done this once before when we were supposed to do this video the other time. Yes. Many months ago. Yes. Uh, and it cut really well, especially this one. Uh, this one here, this one was a bit of a mixed bag. It also has a really thick blade profile. So it's not a sharp edge, yeah. it's really chunky. It's also very short, very heavy. The blade stock is super thick. It was all right to throw, all right to throw. Oh, I prefer throwing this, but but cutting things, it was pretty good at cutting things. Yeah. Except for it came to water bottles because it's not that sharp. That's true. It's a, it's a mixed bag, basically. Uh, oh but, no, but, but overall, like spears aren't just for stabbing. Yes, you know, they're great in packs where you can line them up, but if you need to, as an adventure, you can be slicing with these things at, you know, six foot away, 12 foot away. Yeah. Good fun things. I love spears, yeah. they're fun. King of the battlefield for a reason. They can do stuff, lots of different stuff. <laughs> uh, but I think that's gonna be all for today's video. That is, speaking of throwing things, you know, you remember how like I beat you that last time with throwing spear-like objects? There's a, there's a video here. Not that I'm gonna keep bringing that up over and over again because I, I beat him or something. It's great. He got one on the scoreboard. <laughs> yeah, one, okay, okay. <laughs>